Blue Show again. Today I'm going to show you how to test the two-wire power steering pressure switch on your Honda. The switch's main purpose is to tell the PCM when the power steering fluid pressure is high. This occurs when the steering wheel is being held at full lock. This becomes an issue when the engine is idling, for example when you're trying to pull into a parking space. This higher fluid pressure means more torque will be required to rotate the power steering pump. This puts a heavier load on the engine and can cause it to stall. To prevent this, the pressure switch tells the PCM when power steering fluid pressure is high and it reacts by raising engine RPM to compensate for the increased load. A bad pressure switch or wiring issue can cause the engine to stall when the steering wheel is held at full lock at idle. The switch can also fail by leaking fluid. If it's leaking, replace it. Testing it is simple and only requires a T-pin or sewing needle and a multimeter. Here's the power steering pressure switch. It's a two-wire connector. I have a green wire and a black wire. First we're going to test the ground, which is the black wire. I'm going to take a T-pin and insert it in the back of the connector. You don't want to puncture the wire insulation with the T-pin. You just want to run alongside it. Gently push it into the connector until you meet resistance. Sorry, couldn't do that one-handed. I'm going to reinsert it to the switch. Now hook up your meter leads. First I'm going to take my red lead from my meter and clip it to the end of that T-pin. And then my other lead and clip it to the block. The block is a piece of clean unpainted metal that will provide us with a good ground. Make sure your meter lead has good contact. That means avoiding rusty or corroded metal. Set my meter to DC volts. Now I'm gonna go into the vehicle, turn the key on. How do you know if your T-pin is far enough in and you're making contact with the ground lead? Well, if I disconnect the lead on block ground here, you'll notice that the reading's fluctuating. And if I shake the leads, you notice how it's jumping around there? That's a clue that you don't have a good connection. Once I restore the connection, it's stable. And when I shake the leads, nothing happens. Now that's the reading with the key on, but that means nothing to me because the circuit's not loaded. I'm going to start the vehicle up and you definitely will see that increase. What you're looking for on a sensor ground is 100 millivolts max. Anything higher means you have excessive resistance on the ground wire. It's actually 10 millivolts. If I switch the scale, you can see it's around 9, 10 millivolts. That ground is good. Now we're going to test the signal wire. That goes to the PCM. Remove the connector. And I'm going to put the T-pin into the hole with the green wire. Reinsert the connector. My red lead is still on the block ground. Now just to get the proper polarity on my meter, I'm going to switch my leads around. I'm going to put my red lead on the T-pin this time. And my black lead onto that block ground point. The pressure switch is a normally closed switch, which means at rest when the engine's off, or when power steering pressure is normal with the engine on, the signal wire is connected to the ground wire. This pulls the battery voltage on the signal wire to ground. And with the key on, I'm seeing exactly what I should be seeing. The switch is closed, and it's pulling battery voltage to ground. If you don't see ground voltage, that means the contacts in the switch are bad. Now to test the signal wire, I'm going to pull the connector off, which will remove the ground connection through the switch. And there it is, 12.03 volts. That's battery voltage. 
So that tells me the signal wire from the PCM to the switch is good. Now I'm going to show you a quick way to test the switch. I'm going to reconnect the pressure switch connector and you'll see that voltage drop back down. Now, with your lead still on that green wire, I'm going to start the vehicle up, turn the steering wheel, and hold it at the lock. When I do, that switch should open and you should see battery voltage on the meter. All I'm doing in the vehicle is holding the steering wheel full lock, in other words, turning it all the way to the right and holding it. It'll be around 14 volts when the vehicle's running because the alternator is charging the battery. If you listen closely, you can hear the power steering pump whine and the engine RPM drop when the wheel's at full lock. When the power steering fluid pressure is high, the switch opens, disconnecting the signal wire from the ground wire. The signal wire then returns to battery voltage. The PCM monitors this voltage just like we did. If the signal voltage is high at battery voltage, it means the power steering pressure is high. If the signal voltage is low at ground voltage, the power steering pressure is normal.